Hey guys, this is Corey with Funtown RV of Amarillo, and today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2025 Keystone Cougar Half Ton Model 30 RKD. This is a great rear kitchen, couples, camper, and I think you're really gonna like what this one's got to offer. Now, before we jump onto the inside, all the specifications for this big, beautiful travel trailer will be down in the video description below, as well as right here on the screen, so you can stop and check that at any time. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead. We'll get onto the inside and check out this beautiful camper. And if you've been in a 2024 Cougar, you'll notice that the interior hasn't really changed much for 2025. Now they have made some improvements, some things that I really like, and a couple things I'm not super keen on, but we'll go over those as we go through this. So one of the things that they did change for this year is no more of that uh, woven material. They, in your slide out floors, it's a floor flush matching linoleum. And I do like that. That is super nice. Nice big windows. Now they are looking not at your campsite, they're looking at the neighbors, but they're super max sized windows. Now all of these windows are going to have, let's see if I can get this, the roll down blackout shades, which is really nice. Really is gonna help keep that heat out if you're in a place like down here in Texas where it gets a hundred plus every summer. Love those little accent lights under that dinette too, by the way. Now let's talk seating. This has got the theater seating. You do have the flip down center console with uh, the heat and massage functions and pop-up power uh, prisms, which is really nice. Now you can get a hide -a bed in this. You can get a freestanding table and chairs. This is, I think, how most people would prefer it with the booth that does drop down for some extra sleeping area and the theater seat. So it's primarily a couple's camper, but you can still sleep a grandkid or two. Now what's also really nice, they've changed their dinette here. I'm kind of prepping this with one hand, but watch this. You can push this down one-handed, pick it up with one hand. It's what they call an, a, a dream dinette. So it's very, very easy to do it. You, like I said, you can do it one-handed, um, and I do like that a lot. Now, they've kind of changed in their main seating and living area to these flush mount can lights. I really like that. It's more residential, plus you can see they are dimmable, which is really cool too. Even your overhead lights are dimmable. And these are, I don't know what it is about them. They seem to be a lot brighter than last year's model. Now they do have the in-floor ducted heating. That is the most efficient way to heat a camper. And I know some people aren't super big about that, but it, again, it is the most efficient way to heat a, heat a camper. Barreled ceiling, that's not a camera trick. That's actually how it looks. So it gives you lots more ceiling height uh, that's probably not grammatically correct, but we're going to roll with it anyway. And then up here, you do have the uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner. That's all they use. And they have the blade air conditioning system. So this is really going to help spread the air out rather than it just forcing straight down. It's a lot more efficient uh, AC system than what they were using. Now, if we take a seat over here at the theater seating, you can see that you're directly across from the entertainment center. It's actually really comfortable too. Um, love that little peephole window right there. I guess that's probably not the right term for that, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, so you can look out and see who's at your campsite. Also, nice placement on that electrical outlet right there too. That's uh, something you don't normally see. 5200 BTU electric space heater fireplace is right there below the TV. And I'll show you, there is some storage hidden behind the TV uh, here in just a moment. You can kind of get a quick peek of that right there as well. Now these are smart TVs, so you can use your Roku, Fire TV Stick, Netflix, 
YouTube TV, whatever you want to use there um, to do that. One of the cool things, this is also something you can't see. Below the floor, this is using Keystone's Hyperdeck flooring construction. And it's more of a composite floor. And the nice thing about that is it's more water resistant than a traditional wood floor. So that is something that I really do like that Keystone is doing. And it's got a pretty cool warranty. Um, don't necessarily wanna go into that right now, but it's, like I said, it's got a pretty cool warranty. So real quick, I've rambled on enough. We've taken a look at the living and kitchen area. Let's open up this storage. Cause I'm telling you for a rear kitchen, this has got some kick butt storage. Okay, so starting off over here, love this little, uh, I'm gonna call it a shoe cabinet right there, right inside the door where you can kick off your shoes just to keep them out. All these are soft clothes too, which is really nice. You've got some nice storage right there. You've also got your radio right here. I always forget to talk about those for some weird reason. And then back behind your TV, check that out. That is some massive storage. And speaking of massive storage, you've got some right above the TV too. Moving into our kitchen proper, we have our primary pantry area. Now what's cool about all these cabinets, these are all pocket screwed and glued cabinets. And that is some really nice storage right there. You're going to have a 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor driven refrigerator in any of these Cougar half ton models. Got your microwave, hood range vent, three burner cooktop with the flip up glass cover of and down below if you do want to do some baking. And that is the normal 17 inch oven. So it is the smallest one. Nice deep pots and pans drawers uh, underneath there as well. And one of the things I I did notice is Cougar did up, upgrade their drawers just a little bit this year. They seem to be better finished off. Nice three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers right there. And then right here, you've got some good uh, pots and pans storage. Plenty of room for dual waste baskets if you did want to. And then you've got another shelf space right there as well. Now, I don't want to forget the storage under the dinette. You have two of these massive drawers right here. I just opened one, so I wasn't tripping over it because I have been known to do that. Pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops. You're also going to have a nice chunk of storage there. Love this window overlooking the back of the campsite. And then you've got your big single basin farm style sink with the metal high rise pull down sprayer faucet. Now, if we take a knee here, you can see you've got a uh, power outlet right there. You have another power outlet right there as well. So plenty of space to put it, plug in those coffee pots, um, you know, any of that good stuff. More storage here and nice deep storage right there as well. So real quick, that is going to wrap it up for the kitchen space. Let's take a look at the bathroom and bedroom now. Now, before we jump on to the bedroom and bathroom, I do wanna go over our control panel here. So I love that they went back to physical switches over the in-command system. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of those tablets unless I still have physical buttons like this. You also are gonna have dimmable lighting, as you can see there. And then this will be the thermostat for your main air conditioner. So, all right, let's take a look at the bathroom. Coming in here, this is a pass-through bathroom. Some people refer to it as like a shotgun style bathroom, but uh, you've got your nice towel uh, rack there as well. Porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Let's see what kind of elbow and leg room we've got. So flipping this camera around, I know you love looking at my goofy face. I've got plenty of shoulder room. Uh, I kind of have wide shoulders, so that's one thing that I really like. And plenty of leg room there before the shower. And I have long, goofy legs like I know a, a, a lot of other um, taller folks do. Now, stepping into the shower. That's a surprisingly solid base. Flipping this around, you can see I have plenty of room. I'm 6'2 with my shoes on 
and uh, I've got plenty of headroom. So if you're six four, six five, you're gonna have you're gonna be just fine, and plenty of elbow room too. Nice medicine cabinet there. You are gonna have your tankless on-demand water heater controls, outlet, and light switches. Pressed membrane countertops. Nice big sink too, by the way. And then you've got some good storage down there as well. You've got your sliding pocket privacy door to close off the bathroom from this side. Coming into the bedroom, you've got a king size bed. There's gonna be full storage underneath it. I'll go ahead and show you that. So plenty of storage in there for some of your bulky items. And then up here, you are going to have household more lights that I didn't even <laughs> pay attention to. Um, and then household and USB outlets. You'll have the same thing on that side of the bed as well. Plus nice big uh, storage spaces there. Wish those were on the strut supported um, hinges there. Across from the bed, you do have a very nice suite of cabinetry space here. It goes all the way across. You could put probably a 32 inch TV, plus you are gonna have the uh, household USB outlets, all that good stuff right there. And then you're going to have four of these nice big drawers here. So four of those and a little cabinet there as well. Right here is gonna be that thermostat for the second air conditioner, which is an available option. This particular one does have that and it is fully ducted, which is very nice. Now in here, you've got this nice shelf here. Love this pattern. And uh, not sure why they put the light there, <laughs> but it does have a light there. And then you do have a huge chunk of storage here. Now, a common question I get on this floor plan, is it washer dryer prepped? This particular one is not. So if you're looking for something with a washer and dryer, this may not be the camper for you because it, like I said, it, it is not prepped for that but it still has plenty of storage and plenty of space. So if you're gonna use this as an extended stay type rig, this would be a great option for you. Now let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at the outside and show you all the cool features out there. All right, guys, we're on the outside of this Cougar 30 RKD. So starting off at the front here, you do have your nice painted automotive grade fiberglass front cap. Power tongue jack, two 20 pound propane tanks, plus you are going to have your battery and uh, battery box right there. Coming around over here, you have got your pass through storage. You have plenty of room here, plus you got some light switches, your awning controls, all kinds of cool stuff. Plus this is a fully aluminum cage construction with double sided welds on all aluminum tubing. Nice, huge power awning that covers the entry door and the outside kitchen. If you did want to add an outside TV, you do have the ability to do that right there. Now this does have the power stabilizer jacks, not the auto level. Uh, the auto level is now an available option, but you do have to uh, specifically request that. Friction hinge entry door, plus you have the Lippert solid steps. And you can see this is going to have the anti-lock braking system. Plus, this is warranty for full-time living as well, which is pretty dang cool. You have got your outside kitchen right here. Nice big griddle. Plus, you are going to have the little mini fridge for all those brewskis, mountain dews, and apple juices. Coming back around here, this is going to be your outside shower then you're also going to have your tankless water heater right there. Spare tire, spare tire carrier, plus you have a ladder to get up on top of the fully walkable roof. There is 200 watts of solar panels up there as well. And Cougar does have backup lighting, which is pretty cool. This is gonna be your cable and satellite hookups. You also are going to have your 50 amp service right there. Here's one of your dumps. This is for the kitchen area. And one of the cool things Keystone does, let's see if I can show you this. You may not. 
yeah, it's not a very uh, easy thing to do. But uh, they do a little different uh, seal technology on their slide outs. It's a little more robust than some other brands. Here's where you're gonna dump your black and gray tanks for the front. And then right up in here, this is gonna be some storage underneath the bed. You also are gonna have a solar on the side if you wanna add some extra solar panels. And then the other side of your pass-through storage right there. Plus, also your universal docking station is up here. This does have a fully walkable roof, fully walkable slide boxes, 200 watt solar panels up on the roof. But that's gonna wrap it up for the 2025 Keystone Cougar Half Ton. 30 RKD. If you're interested in this big, beautiful luxury travel trailer and you have any questions, leave those down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer that. Uh, any questions? And uh, remember at Funtown RV, we have the best products, best selection, and the best pricing around. The fun starts here at Funtown RV. Plus, we do none of those pesky hidden dealer fees. So, with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this one. We thank you very much for watching this RVing with Corey YouTube video and we'll see you on the next one.